Dog it. She just fell back to sleep. I just want to check and see how she's doing. Anyways, I'm here with this other thing. We uh, we caught this killer, Jeb Dukes. He's in the ICU. He may not make it. And now you're wondering if there really was a connection? And when I, uh, I first came to work at the FBI, I worked at violent crimes. And I saw, the, I saw the worst of humanity. I saw monsters. And I wonder how they became that way. How these men became so evil, you know? There were psychological explanations, victims of their environment, victims of their parents, but those scientific explanations were never truly satisfying. And I began to think about evil like, like a disease, you know, that uh, goes from man to man or age to age. Most of us walk around thinking that we're incapable of any acts of evil. And we are. You know, we can stifle that momentary urge to kill or to hurt. We have some kind of immunity to it. But I think it's possible that there's an occurrence in somebody's life, a, a tragedy or a loss, that leaves them vulnerable, hurts their immunity to evil. And all of a sudden, at that point in their lives, when they're weakened, they're open to evil. And they can become evil. If that were true, then what you're saying is, is this man we wheeled in here tonight is infected with evil. The same evil that killed my son. You really believe that, Agent Mola? Yeah, I'm not really a good test for questions like that. I'll believe almost anything, you know? But the, uh, the pisser is you may never know. It may be like Agent Reyes says. It could be random and meaningless who it affects, who it goes to. What if it isn't? Well, then you'd be seeing something that I don't, Agent Doggett. 